Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're with Got That Funk, and I just recently finished watching the uh, full series of Battlestar Galactica, and I promised a few of my friends here on the tubes that when I finally finished, I would do a comparison video between Babylon 5 and Battlestar Galactica, because I've got quite a few friends here on YouTube who, like me, think Babylon 5 is the best TV show that there's ever been. But uh, some of those same people gave Battlestar Galactica really, really good reviews. And when I was in London visiting my daughter back in June, I happened to pick up the box set from BSG. And I have been watching uh, episodes two or three at a time over the past sort of two and a half months or whatever. Anyway, uh, I finally finished watching it, I think, yesterday or the day before. And... I wanted to do this comparison video for some of my friends like Federalist Films and Nathan Forrest and others, Serious Mind, who love Babylon 5 and uh, also enjoyed Battlestar Galactica. In fact, it was my friend Nathan Forrest who suggested to me that if I liked B5 so much that I would probably really like Battlestar Galactica, excepting, of course, that they don't really have anything in common other than the fact that they're sort of space operas. Anyways... <clears throat> Battle, Battlestar Galactica uh, is different in every way, and in many ways it is superior to Babylon 5. Part of that owes to the fact that it, uh, it started 10 years later than Babylon 5, so the production values are a lot higher um, in Battlestar Galactica than they were on Babylon 5. Babylon 5 was operating on a shoestring budget every single season when they taped it. They didn't know if they were going to get renewed for the next season. Um, and those types of things do show in the finished product. Uh, Battlestar Galactica is superior to Babylon 5 in terms of its special effects. It is far superior to Babylon 5 in terms of the quality of the acting on the show. Um, and although I think the storyline in Battlestar Galactica is strong overall, I don't really think it holds a candle to Babylon 5. Uh, Babylon 5 takes huge concepts and make some personal in a way that I've never seen before and haven't seen since. I seriously doubt there will ever be a TV show I appreciate as much or in the same way as I did Babylon 5. But Babylon 5, uh, some of the principal actors in the show were pretty good, but almost universally the secondary actors in the show and the, um, the one-time actors in the show uh, really, really, really were subpar in my opinion. But luckily the story was so good that I don't think overall the show suffered for the bad acting or for the low quality special effects. Um, Babylon 5 tackles issues of good and evil. It tackles issues of personal growth. You know, how we basically answer moral questions for ourselves, taking responsibility for our own actions. Uh, I think the creator of the show, J. Michael Straczynski, did say that the whole show is about choices, consequences, and responsibility. And I was really glad that I raised my kids uh, watching Babylon 5 because I did really feel that um, it gave us an awful lot of interesting things to talk about in terms of moral dilemmas and stuff like that. Uh, Battlestar Galactica doesn't deal with it in the issues it deals with in anywhere near the same sort of way. Uh, Battlestar Galactica tries to spoon-feed you um, certain conclusions, in my opinion. Um, my son Falcon sort of argues that Battlestar Galactica is way more about religion or theism than Babylon 5 is. And Straczynski, the creator of Babylon 5, is famously an atheist. And... Um, he was praised by religious people from various persuasions for dealing with religious issues on the show sensitively. And I think that really is true of the show. I think it actually asks questions and doesn't really lead you to too many conclusions. It leaves the question out there for you to ponder. And I really liked that about the show. Uh, another thing I liked about the show that it has in common with Battlestar Galactica is the fact that the good guys aren't really the good guys and the bad guys aren't really the bad guys. Everybody has a good side and a bad side to them. And uh, that's true in both Battlestar Galactica and Babylon 5. I think uh, some of the heroes, in quotation marks, in Babylon 5 are obviously meant to be seen as good guys overall. 
uh, but everybody on the show has a dark side and that dark side does come out and it does make the characters seem that much more like real people just as it does in Battlestar Galactica even if the real people in Battlestar Galactica turn out sometimes to be Cylons which is not human um, I found Battlestar Galactica really interesting in a lot of ways I think each series sort of stands as, as its own sort of creative piece as it were uh, from about the middle of series one right through until the middle of series three I think the show is absolutely soaring and every single episode makes you want to watch the next episode I'm really glad that I watched it on DVD rather than on TV uh, I watched Babylon 5 on TV when it was brand new and I had the burning week between episodes and the anticipation was actually horrible for me I, I would literally shake uh, in the hour or two prior to watching the new Babylon 5s because I was so tense to find out what was going to happen next. And uh, Battlestar Galactica delivered in that regard as well. I have to say overall I am not disappointed with Battlestar Galactica, uh, but I just don't really think it has the kind of depth and uh, magnitude that uh, exists on or existed on Babylon 5. I think one of the uh, themes of Battlestar Galactica, which I really liked for a, a space opera, was the importance of love in relationships, the importance of loyalty in relationships. If you ask me, that's what the show is really about. Love and loyalty, human relationships, and uh, you know, finding out who you can count on. Stuff like that. So... <clears throat> That's all I've really got to say. I haven't really thought this video through. I'm sure that's obvious by now. Uh, but I did like Battlestar Galactica. And Nathan, I want to thank you for um, encouraging me to buy it. Because normally I wouldn't have spent sort of 50 quid in one go on a show I'd never seen a single episode of. But that's the kind of love I have for you, buddy. Anyway, um, I look forward to an interesting comment section. Uh, so get busy down below. In the meantime, thank you all for watching this video, and may all your ups and downs be ups.